nature, the beautiful countryside. Uh, admittedly, that is wasteland over there, derelict wasteland that some rather irresponsible fly tippers have dumped their rubbish on. But if you look up in the sky, beautiful clouds passing through. And it's all relevant because today, March the 23rd, as you probably already know, is World Meteorological Day. That's right, today we celebrate everything to do with meteorology um, and consider how that impacts our health and well-being, as we did last week, all through Nutrition and Hydration Week. I hope you snacked on your nuts and you drank plenty of fluid. Uh, and perhaps even more poignant, as I keep saying, throughout the recent events around the world, Days like this, days where we're celebrating the weather and looking at how that weather changes how you feel in your own body, these times are extremely important. So if you find that you have some extra time on your hands, perhaps you are working from home, take a minute, go outside if you can, outside of your door, back garden, front garden, wherever you can, get out of the house, go and and feel the weather around you. Go and look at the weather. Observe it. Get that sunlight. That sunlight is so important. Okay, vitamin D. If you are in the northeast of England like myself, we do not get enough of this. So make sure you get some sun exposure. All right. Now, break away from your home office or even if you are able to get to your office, break away from your desk. Today, we're going back down on the floor and I'm gonna give you a really simple one, variation of March in March. This time, we are going way back again to when we were babies and we figured it out. We're going back onto our hands and knees. So I've said before, those of you that feel a bit uncomfortable being on your hands and knees, please just flip back through the library of options that we've created now and choose a different one. I'm just gonna Get down onto my knees here on the floor. If you feel you're doing this at home uh, and you feel that your knees are gonna be sore on the surfaces that you have, then obviously choose something that's a little bit softer, perhaps a rug, perhaps lay a towel down. If you've got a yoga mat or a soft exercise mat of any kind, then perhaps put that down. But remember, one important fact when you are on your hands and knees is that the wrist itself is looking for a firm base to press on. So if you do get wrist pain, when you put your hands onto the floor and you're taking your body weight through it, then consider just using the firm floor instead. A matte, soft surface underneath your hand is gonna crease the wrist more and that can cause more pain. It feels a little bit counterintuitive. Firm surface for your hands is much better. That doesn't mean you don't have to have your knees on something soft, you can still do that. Okay, let's crack on with this. Five seconds up in the top. Okay, you're going onto your hands and knees, and then I'll explain what you're gonna do. All right, we're going. Five, four, three, two, one, off you go. Light pressure through your hands, press through the balls of your feet and hover, hover your knees off the floor if you can. Holding this position, you're gonna take one arm forwards and the opposite knee forwards. Then you're gonna bring them back. Other hand forwards, other knee forwards, then bring them back. Okay, slide them forwards, bring them back. Slide them forwards, bring them back. Now, as you get used to this, and you might have more space available, what I want you to do is start to travel. Okay, move further forwards, move further back. If you're restricted in your space, move to the side. But look, knees stay off the floor. Okay, travel the body, keep the knees off the floor just off the floor if you can. Temptation is gonna to be to lift the bum high. Try and keep the knees low. Keep them off the floor. Move about through your hands, through your feet, but you're letting those knees drive up and you're letting those hands move forwards. Now that's your minute, but I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna show you front angle, okay? Knees are off the floor. Move about, side to side. Get the kids involved if you're at home and you're finding it tough to get your work done because they keep bothering you. They just wanna play. 
Let them play here. Put them on your back. That's gonna to be tough. Boom, your knees are gonna drop down. Try and keep them off. Hover your knees, move about. Hover your knees, move about. Go outside, enjoy the weather. Meteorological day. Fantastic, guys.